me first say how pleased I am at the size of this audience. You know, I have a just student audience of 2,000, but also in one, at one university, just four students turned up here. So this is a particular pleasure. Thank you for coming. Uh, I know that you uh, are doing great work on human rights. I heard from the topics the, of the master's graduates today. You know, you really feel like reading everything they've written. And also, I think it's very natural, you being so close to Nuremberg, all of us in other parts of the world envy German students because you have the historic palace of justice here and we all learned lessons from that. I remember that it all started right here in Nuremberg. We wouldn't have an international criminal court if we didn't have the Nuremberg principles in the first place. I was as young as most of you uh, as a law student, but I was a poor law student so I could Come in the morning, I could not go home by bus. I had bus fare just for one round trip. But the law courses were scheduled to suit the white students who were working in law firms. They, so the one course would be at 7 to 8 in the morning, and the next lecture would be 7 to 8 at night. Uh, what do I do there? So I found these Nuremberg records in the library, really old, dusty corner. I must have been the only one who read them. Uh, so, you know, you read them, you don't know how this can be put to use someday, yes, and then the day comes around. It's important that we have the knowledge, uh, and I say this for the ICC, we, we take the Nuremberg principles, we make sure we make it work there. Mm -hmm.